George has been in the village with Josh for the past couple of days. Tally and James still have school because they've all got different holidays. Um, so it's just you and me, isn't it? What do you think? He's had his cornrows taken out, he's had his hair washed. I haven't given you guys an update at all with how all these kids are getting on at their new schools. We were having a little bit of trouble with behaviour, weren't we? Oh, even in the hard time, you were looking weather and he's storm. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. channel. It is a Thursday, it is the second week of Adam and George's Easter break. So he's got just today and tomorrow and then the weekend left before back to school. But I've actually only got Adam here today because George has been in the village with Josh for the past couple of days. Tally and James still have school because they've all got different holidays. Um, so it's just you and me, isn't it? Mm. And Bazali, who's over there. Hi, Bazali. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bit of a lazy day today, I really slept in. I was so tired, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm trying to think what to update everyone and what's been going on. Today, Bazzotti's cleaning up the dog poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, we were all really poorly last weekend. I've still got a cough. Um, Bazzotti is dealing with the puppies right now. Yeah, so we've the got these puppies. four puppies. I didn't uh, even told everyone about the puppies. So. I maybe maybe on the next video. Wait, the next what are we doing video? in this video? Talk about the puppies in this video. We've got how many puppies have we got? Four. Four. There were abandoned puppies that we took into our home simply because the last litter that were in the village all passed away from parvovirus, and I just didn't want it to happen again. So we took in these four puppies, and then about two days ago, it seems like parvovirus got here anyway. And the girl puppy was so sick. I shared a video over on TikTok, but I won't share the images here, but it was really, really bad. And the vet came and he told me 50, 50%, you know, chance of her surviving. But the way he said it, I knew he thought it was a lot less than that. And he said, you call me if you still need me in the morning, i.e. whether or not she's still with us or not. Um, and the vet in the UK said there was no chance really. Um, but, the girl puppy, how is she? Good. She's good. She's made a recovery. Oh my goodness. What a relief. Here she is. Pretty girl. She's doing all right. She's still very, very weak, but she started eating and things again. Honestly, I thought I thought we lost her. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, going, <laughs> I'm going to take that as well. Hmm. But... No, they are, they are going to, <laughs> what they are going to do, they will say, okay. Well, Bizarre, he doesn't want to leave the house because his football team is losing every match these days. <laughs> they are losing every match. Ah, maybe you need, maybe you need to support a new team. Mm, no. Who, who do you support? Arsenal. Arsenal. Okay. <laughs> um, I am making myself some lunch now. I actually made myself some homemade hummus yesterday. Um, so I'm having a hummus and avocado sandwich. <laughs> Here it is. Obviously, I haven't forgotten Adam. He had this with me yesterday, but today he's having rice and beans. But um, I liked this so much yesterday, I wanted the same thing again. It's the best hummus I've actually ever made. It's so good. But the bread's a little bit... Going a little bit stale. The bread here is not great. That's the one thing. That is one thing I'm missing from from back home. So we are about to do a bit of work, Adam and I, but before, you've got food all over your face, but before we do, I actually made some chocolate pudding yesterday and I'm actually quite impressed. And today, so I have a challenge. A challenge? You haven't tried it yet. The You're going to try it and tell yep, me what you think. But I'm gonna try it. What do you think? Good. Do you like it? No. You don't like it? I hate chocolate. You hate cho- You actually don't like it? Yeah. Just to be nice, I'll let out each or uh, eat some. I'm gonna eat a huge- ah, Adam. Well, I like it. And Bizarre likes it a lot. He said I need to make them every day. But Adam has never really liked sweet things, interestingly. He loves fruit. 
but he's never really like he doesn't love cake and things like that surprisingly i have done the worst job of filming today i don't know what's wrong with me i completely forget to take my camera with me when i leave but basically i didn't do an awful lot i don't know why but i've just been so tired um I did some like sort of like learning, home learning with Adam. Then Adam's made friends recently with a new boy that's living on our compound. So I took them both out for a bike ride. And then I had tutoring this evening. We all had a lazy dinner. We all had street chips for dinner. And that's about it. And I'm going to bed early. It's like nine something, which is very, very early for me. And I'm just going to go to sleep so that hopefully tomorrow is a much more productive day. So yes, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, another day, and we are up. I've showered, put makeup on, although I haven't done my hair yet, dried my hair yet, and I found Adam preparing us both porridge. You been preparing the banana? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. he, he put the porridge on as well. Well, he didn't put the hob on, but he put the porridge in the milk. Mm -hmm. Just to help my mommy. He is a superstar. I'm done cutting the banana. Bananas. You even got all the seeds and everything down. Uh -huh. a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. There we have it. There's our breakfast. It is hot. It's hot? Mm -hmm. Often happens when you finish making something, cooking something. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys. So about to see something a little bit different. So for some of you this probably won't interest you at all. Yeah. But about Five months ago, I decided I really wanted to see what all the fuss was about with Taylor Swift because... And today, we are <laughs> going to listen to Taylor Swift's new songs to oh, them. No. Two albums, yeah. yeah. So basically, I just did not see what... I was not a massive... like just didn't see what the fuss was about really, so I decided I would try and listen to all of the her music a few months ago and since then pretty much haven't listened to anything else and i'm now a huge fan and have also converted this one who also now absolutely loves her and actually even bizarrely who listens to her all the time and today this morning she released a new album which i've been really patient not putting it on and now she just announced it's a double album and so we are about to listen to it all aren't we Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Unfo unfortunately, to. yeah. But unfortunately, we won't be able to film it on YouTube. We can't film listening to it because of copyright. But we will um, catch up with you again once we've finished, won't we? Yes. Excited? Yes! So, last minute plan this one goes back to school on Monday, and his hair is. Excuse you! <laughs> his hair is pretty messy, so we're going to go and get it redone quickly. We're going to go to somewhere else. We're going to try. And... We don't want to spend it. We want to, we want to find somewhere that's more affordable, so a cheaper market, um, and see how it goes. And Vidali has decided he'd really like to get his done too, so we're both going. He's had his cornrows taken out, he's had his hair washed. And now he's having it dried, ready to get his new braids put in. And Bazali has gone to another salon to get the side shave before he'll come here and get the braids on top too. But it is also crazy hot in here, so I think this one's not very happy. I'm struggling a bit as well. Careful! So, finished getting his hair done. Let's have a look, babe. Show me her. Yeah, pretty good. Only cost 15k, which is about three pounds something. Not quite as good as when we got it done in the salon the other time, but huge price difference, you know. So, you happy with it? Yeah. Yeah. Super good. Good. And now he's going to do a little bit of learning on his iPad whilst we wait for the others to come home from school. And then I have a surprise for them. What's the surprise? I brought some snacks for them. Yeah. What snacks? I brought rice crackers. No, you didn't. You bought popcorn, popcorn and Oreos. Oreos. So, I'm gonna share them. Is that learning? Yes. Okay, I hope so. So, it is time to cook dinner now. Bazali is going to help me, and we are going to attempt to make kidney bean burgers. So, I've not made them before. Wish me luck. Burgers, recipe. We've got oats. We've got kidney beans, we've got ketchup, we've got the wrong paprika, we've got oregano, garlic, mm. oregano, not bananas, garlic, lettuce, we've got burger buns. Yeah, we'll show you after, see how it goes. That's what they're looking like so far. 
Well, I've not tried how they taste yet, but I'm quite impressed with how they've turned out. Have to see. Well, they're very excited about their dinner. We have chips and burger like this. So weird only having three children right now, but George is on his way back. Right, go on, take a bite of the burgers, guys, and let me know how they taste. The big one? Yeah. I was going to like this. <laughs> Mommy, you see, I was going mm, to be like careful. This. Mm. What do you reckon, Adam? Fabulous. Fabulous. Mm. It's like the size of James's head. Good. Good morning. So it's Saturday morning and, oh, he's got cream over his face still. And we're off to football. Now, Adam and George both go to the same football on Tuesdays, like, like the same club, but um, we've never got up early enough on a Saturday to go on a Saturday. And Saturday is apparently like the better day. Um, Adam's got his new kit. Mm -hmm. He's got 12. He chose his number and everything. So yeah, we're off. Bizarrely's coming too. We are back from football. Adam is now doing some homework. The other two are about to as well, but they are just finding theirs, aren't they? Eight. Yes. Eight. George. One, George doesn't want to come back from the village, does he, Adam? Mm -hmm. He wants to stay there. Yeah. George wants to return, and George is saying he wants to stay in the village. If you want to stay in the village, you can. Hmm. And but then they, it's meant to have school on Monday, but yes, you still want to come I back. I don't, I don't think he wants to stay with the, to the village. Because I think he's going to change his mind after a couple yeah. of days. It's because it's fun there, because Daddy's there. But as soon as Daddy leaves, I don't think he'll enjoy it anymore, will he? Yes. Hmm. Right, anyway, keep doing your work. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> James has got loads of skin jelly on this morning, haven't you? But what's happened to your tooth this morning, Jamesies? It's bad to move. It's gone. It fell out, yes? No. James is growing up, he's gonna get all his. Brushed. Yeah, well, yeah, and it fell He's out. Yeah. Like it, it fell out when he was brushing his teeth, exactly. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be like me, like all the boys. You're gonna get all your grown up teeth now? Yes. Yes. Oh, Look at the yeah. troublemaker, there she is. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. How are you? No. Oh, is that all the country? Hello. 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 Hello, Hello babies. Hi. My little one. I was one. singing. I was going to. I was doing my work. I wanted to just jump on because I've just come back from Tally's where? School. School. Dun yes. dun dun. To, from seeing the her teacher. Dun, dun, dun. My dun, dun. teacher even said. Come here, darling. Come here. Even my teacher said yes. that I have to get the money which is for purple and green. I still don't know what you're talking about. She didn't say anything to me about that. Yes. She didn't say anything to me about that. I don't know what the purple and the green is. Anyway, it was quite a positive. So Tally's only got one week left for the end of term, actually. I haven't given you guys an update at all with how all these kids are getting on at their new schools, but Adam and George have got to the end of their first term, and Tally and James almost have. Adam Haven't you, darling? Down. Yeah, Adam's playing down. And... Adam is the best kid. And Mummy. You're best too. And for you! And this one is suddenly talking so much more. Um, aren't you? Are you only talking so much more now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yours. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on how they were all getting on. So actually, James, I haven't seen his teacher yet, but I did get an email from her to say that like he's talking much more in school as well. He's really like improving with that side of things. And even he's trying really hard with his reading and his writing. He's not quite there yet, but he is trying really hard. So, well done, Jamesy. You're doing so well, yeah? We're going to keep keep trying. I'm not worried about James. Obviously, he's right at the very start of his educational journey. So, quite pleased with that. This one. Come here. Let's talk to everyone about how you're getting on. I have done this one. Oh, yeah. James has been practicing some letter writing today. Writing the letter A, haven't you? Go on, darling. You can put that back on the table. So, this one. We do find learning really quite tricky, don't we? Um, and But generally, just to start with the real positives, yes? When this one first started at school, we were having a little bit of trouble with behaviour, weren't we? And Mummy and Daddy had to go in and see the head teacher, didn't we? Yes. Yes. But Tally has turned it around. And now her teacher says she's a good girl. You're yeah. a good girl. So she's really, really turned her behaviour around and she is trying to learn. We just need to... Mummy. Yeah, a lot of intervention Mommy, is needed. My teacher told me that to shock 
in the handmade books. Yes, I saw your books. We have shopped in I've checked books. your books, yes. Then we need to fix your pencil grip because you're not holding the pencil correctly, which is really making it hard for you to write. Yes. And we just need to really try and get a little bit faster. Yeah, because we're just not getting much done in the time given. Yeah? Yes. But your teacher is also sure that you are going to make lots of progress this year. Yeah? And Adam and George are obviously not here to talk with them, but again, all been really quite positive, really. Um, the things that, to take away were just that, and this is no change to back home. For Adam, when he finds things hard, kind of shuts down quite a bit, he's not very, he's actually not very resilient. He's a very sensitive little boy when it comes to, yeah, he's like, He's very upset with himself when he finds something difficult. Um, and so just persevering through that. And George, similar, really, in that apparently he also really wants to learn. Like, Adam obviously would rather probably play, but uh, George really wants to learn, but also gets very emotional over it. Um, and there's a lot of tears. So just, yeah, toughening up a little bit, really. Um, but generally really happy. Obviously, we were so, so stressed trying to choose what school to send them to. And at the moment, I'm feeling quite confident about the ones that we've chosen. The only thing that is still a huge stress is covering the school fees. It's one thing that's just crazy, really, because obviously if we're in the UK, we'd have good choice of schools, good schools, and they don't cost. But here, it really, really adds up, and we are really struggling anyway. Now, last term, when we were struggling, lots of people said, hang on, darlings, okay? Hang on, okay? I know, wait a minute. Now, last time when we were really struggling, so many people offered to help and kept saying set up a GoFundMe. And as always, I said I don't want to because I hate asking. But the reality is that I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the school year because it is really expensive. So I have decided to suck it up. And as some friends said to me, you know, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I don't know, darling, it's a piece of Lego. But for those people who do constantly ask and want to support us, which we are so, so grateful for, and we don't expect, but for those people who do want to, there's an opportunity to. And if you don't want to, that's fine. Like, we are so happy you are here watching our videos. That's enough. So I have set up a GoFundMe account, which is linked down in the description box below, just that covers the school fees for the rest of this academic year. And we're just so grateful for anyone who does want to support our family because it is really, really hard. And that is... One of the downsides to me coming back out here to be with everyone is that and I'm adding Adam's school fees to it and everything is just very, very expensive. I do want to remind everyone though that we do have a Patreon account too, which you can sign up to give monthly, but in return you get extra vlogs. We're trying so hard to put one or two extra vlogs a month there. So if you want to see more of us as well as supporting our family at the same time, you can head over there as well. And we just love growing our community over there as well. So yeah, there are just a couple of ways that you can support our family if that's something you'd like to do. I know some people prefer, rather than supporting financially, they're sending items. We do still have our Amazon wish lists and things. It's all linked in the description box. And we're just grateful. We're honestly grateful for anyone who, who supports our family because, yeah. And we're just hoping eventually one day, well, we, we, do, we do try our very, very best to give back with the, with the rescue dogs and the cedar children and things. But we're just hoping one day we will financially be in a position ourselves as a family to, to do more for others as well because that's all we ever want. Anyway. Bye. Oh, are we going? Are we leaving? No. Oh, she, she wants to get rid of you all.